Hi everyone. This is the upgraded version of the Hypergo RC car. Here I modified it into an FAV RC car. In today's video, I will briefly explain how I built it. First, let's take a look at its operational video. This is the Hypergo RC car that I reviewed in a previous video. The link to that review and purchase details are provided in description below. For this project, I am using an analog FE system. Links to a video and a website article I created about the analog FE system are also included in the description below. You can gain a better understanding of the analog FE system. I chose to use an analog system because its components are more affordable and it is easier to repair if damaged. One of the unique features of my FEVRC car is the dual axis servo pan tilt camera mount which I made using 3D printing. The links to purchase the complete kit for these components is also provided in description below. To use the 2 axis camera mount, your receiver must have at least 6 channels. While building this, I encountered a small issue. The ESC supplies 8 volt to the receiver, but the servo motor I use operate on 5 volt. Therefore, I could not connect the servo motor directly to the receiver. To slow this, I use a 5 volt UBEC. The UBEC ensures that even if the input voltage is higher, the output voltage is regulated to 5 volt. I attached the 2-axis camera mount to the RC body shell using M3 screws and M3 nuts in this way. A 
A standard servo motor has three wires which can be identified by their colors. The red and brown wires need to be supplied with 5 volt. Red for positive and brown for negative. The orange wire is used for the PWM signal. On the Dumbo C transmitter, channel 5 and 6 are controlled by variable potentiometers. I use these for the two servo motors of the 2-axis camera mode. Therefore, the orange wires of the servo motors are connected to the PWM output pins of channel 5 and 6 on the receiver. I will include a link to the circuit diagram in the description, which will further clarify this setup for you. Mount the VTX and antenna towards to back of the body shell. The more open the antenna placement, the better. Supply the VTX switch either direct battery voltage or a regulated voltage of around 7 volt. I provide this power for the ESC voltage output. The advantage here is that the VTX only activates when the ESC is powered on. Connect the FCB camera to the 2-axis camera mount. Now let's check if everything works correctly. After turning on the RC car, turn on the googles and tune them to the matching channel. You will then see the video preview. Using channels 5 and 6 on the transmitter, you can adjust the camera's direction across two axes and explore the view. I will also present an article about this FVRC car on my website robertlk.co. I believe you will learn something new from this video. If you enjoy videos like this, subscribe to the channel and share it with others. You can also check out the robotics video I created through this channel.